Hey everyone, welcome back to Trek on the Two. Now ever since the release of the CBS in production teaser trailer, people have been talking about the Starfleet uniform they showed. Now it is an interesting design and speculation is at an all time high. Of course, I too will give you my opinion, but first I thought we could go over all of the Starfleet uniforms that have existed within Star Trek's canon. Remember this channel is supposed to be for new Star Trek fans as well, and keeping up with all the different uniforms can prove to be a little complicated, so this might be necessary. Okay, so first things first, I gotta say that we're gonna talk about the uniforms as they appear in their chronological order within the timeline. So Enterprise came out after the original series, but considering it's the first show within the timeline, we're gonna talk about the Enterprise uniforms first. Also, all the costumes that you're gonna see on screen are established in the Star Trek canon, but the explanations as to why and how they change and how they get to where they are all come from me. So let's go. The first uniforms we're going to talk about were featured in Star Trek Enterprise. And as you can see, they're pretty unique. Well, within the Star Trek universe that is, not in the real world. You see, they're based off the jumpsuits that NASA have been wearing for years now. They actually resemble the work overalls that my uncle uses on the farm quite a bit. Anyway, even though the uniforms were completely blue, there were certain subtle differences that designated rank and division. The three main divisions established within Star Trek are Command, Operations, and Science. And as you can see, these three divisions are represented by three different colors. Command is officially designated as Gold, though I would argue it's yellow, Operations is red, and Science is green. Rank is designated by rectangular pins placed within the colored division stripes. These uniforms were active since the 2140s and no one really officially knows when they were put out of service. The next representation of Star Trek on the little screen in the chronological order is the pilot episode The Cage. It happens over a hundred years later and as you can see the uniforms are actually quite different. Of course you have to keep in mind that The Cage was made in the 60s so that's why the uniforms look so different but both uniforms are canon and are in the same timeline so we have to find some sort of explanation as to why they went from one to the other. The simplest of explanations is a hundred years have passed, humans have traveled a lot further than before and the jumpsuit just wasn't adapted to new worlds and new civilizations. That being said there still are similarities with the old jumpsuit. All three Starfleet divisions are still designated by color, command is still gold, operations though has changed, it's become beige, and science has gone from green to blue. Rank is now designated by golden stripes on the sleeves. One of the biggest differences that may not seem obvious at first is the lack of metal. You see the Enterprise jumpsuit uniforms had metal pins to define rank. On this uniform, there's no more metal at all. Of course, it would be safe to assume that having metallic elements on your suit could interfere with scans or transportation, so that's why they took it off. It's said that these uniforms only lasted about 10 years, from the 2250s to the 2260s, so I can only assume they were some sort of test product, which eventually grew into the classic original series Starfleet uniform that everybody knows and loves. As you can see, Starfleet has fun flipping the colors around a bit, but gold remains, operations turns back red, reminiscent of the Enterprise era, and science continues to be blue after the Cage era. Rank is designated on the arm, and they have black collars. The most important thing on this uniform is, of course though, the Starfleet Delta. I know it was already on the previous uniform, but this, this is where it really made its mark. It's said that because Kirk's mission was such a success, that's why Starfleet adopted the Delta as its symbol in later years. Again, these uniforms only lasted about 10 years. They ran from the 2260s to about the 2270s. Maybe Starfleet didn't like having people dressed in red, blue, and yellow running around alien planets. I mean, it makes people pretty visible. And so naturally, with the motion picture, Starfleet decided to go back to beige. You got everyone in Starfleet running around in dull colored pajamas. You got gray, you got brown, you got beige, and you got white. Luckily this uniform doesn't last long and as soon as Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan comes out, we have a new one. Actually we don't just get a new one, we get the longest lasting Starfleet uniform. They went from the late 2270s right up to the 2350s, of course with a few variations down the line but still, same uniform. As you can see, overall the uniforms have become red and the divisions are now defined by colors on the collars. There are a few other variants, but generally, Command is white, Operations is yellow, and Science is green. Actually, there is another important uniform in this time period. It's the same uniform, but with a gray collar. They define more of a General Operations Officer. I mean, it could define anything. Communications, navigation, tech support, that kind of stuff. 
Now, I don't know what Starfleet was thinking, dressing everyone in red and throwing them on alien planets visible as all hell, but they also made the ranking system in this time period absolute chaos. I mean, check this out. You've got every shape imaginable. What, what the hell? I'll tell you what, if I were a Starfleet officer in that time period, I would recognize nobody's rank. I would either take orders from everyone or just give orders to everyone, regardless of what they've got on. Moving on to what came after. The next generation uniform. To be honest, sometimes I believe these uniforms represent Star Trek better than the original series uniforms. I mean, Red Shirt Picard is one of the most recognizable characters on the internet. And perfect transition. Yes, Starfleet decided to pick up the three colors again, but they decided to switch them around a little. Command has become red, Operations is now gold, Science remains blue or green, depending on what quality you're watching the show on. It's kind of undefined, but it, it's, it's a mix between green and blue, so I guess they kept both colors and, and, and mixed them together. Someone in Starfleet obviously couldn't make up their mind, right? Green or blue, Bob, make up your mind. Bob. God damn, Bob. You had one job, Bob. Moving on, rank is now designated by little round pins on the collar. I can only assume that over two centuries later, having metallic pins on your uniform is no longer an issue. Which brings us to the metal Starfleet insignia. As you can see, the Delta has remained ever since the original series, actually ever since the cage. The uniforms in the motion picture had the Delta, the uniforms in the Wrath of Khan and all the subsequent movies had the Delta, and TNG perpetuates the tradition. And it's actually become an indispensable tool. It works, among other things, as a communicator or a GPS tracker. So these uniforms lasted around 20, 30 years. They went from the 2350s to about the 2370s. And as you can see, some minor changes were made along the way. Interesting to note that that uniform stayed in service as this one appeared. Colors remain the same. Red for command, yellow for operations, and a mix between green and blue because Bob couldn't decide what science should be. We hate you, Bob. Anyway, the ranking system pretty much remains the same as the other uniform. You get little round pins. The more you got, the higher you are. Simple. The big difference between this uniform and the previous one and all of the other uniforms is it's generally black. You see the shoulders keep the division colors, but all of the rest of the uniform is black, down to the feet. It would seem that Starfleet finally decided that black might be a safer color for people running around new alien planets. This uniform did, though, only last 10 years as well. It went from the 2360s to the 2370s. I mean, Starfleet truly cannot make up their mind. But it did bring us my personal favorite uniform. Used in some seasons of Deep Space Nine and most of the Next Generation movies, the gray uniform looks awesome. Okay, so Command is still red, Operations yellow, Science green-blue. But all of the shoulder part of the uniform is now gray. It gives the whole uniform a more tactical aesthetic. I mean, y you would rather run around on a planet with gray and black than, you know, bright yellow, bright blue, or bright red. Come on. The good thing is the colors do remain, but they're just more subtle. Now that's the last uniform that we've seen in the prime timeline. We don't know if it'll last 10 years or if it lasts 200 years. Bonus uniform, time travelers from the 29th century. My god, Starfleet has done it again. They've changed all the colors. Command is now blue, operations is brown, and science is gray. I'm not going to go into too much detail here, though, because these are future uniforms. I mean, these guys could be temporal officers, not federation officers, and they could have a completely different ranking or division system. Now comes the time where I should talk about the Kelvin timeline, but I'm sorry, there would be just too much to say. There's been about the same amount of uniforms in the three Kelvin timeline movies as there are in all of the rest of Star Trek. Some of them make sense, some of them don't, but really what you need to keep in mind is they respect the same colors as the original series. Now back to the Prime Timeline. Some interesting variants include Captain Kirk's famous green shirt, this guy in TNG wearing a dress, and Wesley Crusher's grey uniform. Okay, I hope it all makes a little more sense now. I mean, the only thing you really need to remember is there are three main colors used in Starfleet uniforms over the years. You got red, yellow, and blue, or blue-green, and they switch command from yellow to red in the 24th century. So where does this leave us with Star Trek Discovery? It's supposed to take place only 10 years before the original series, and by the looks of the uniform that they showed us, they're going in a very different direction. It could be a blue jumpsuit design following in the footsteps of Enterprise. It could be blue for science, though the badge seems to indicate that it's an operations uniform. Then again, it could be blue for operations. I mean, Starfleet has done a lot of weird things. Or it could just be some sort of vest 
or an admiral's uniform or anything else. I really don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing. It means a lot. All right, I'll see you next time. Live long and prosper. Hey, is that, is that Bob working on Star Trek Discovery? No, Bob, you're going to make everything wrong. You're going to make the captains orange or something. Yeah. Go away, Bob. Hate that guy.